Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today I'm gonna to take a look at something a little bit different. This is a outdoor solar powered security camera. As you can see here on the front, it has a solar panel that recharges the internal battery on this to keep it fully charged. And then of course, it lets you monitor your house. And it also has infrared night vision. So it'll work 24 seven. You don't have to worry about it only working during the day. Now you can see on the back here, we'll go over some of the specs. It says it's a full HD camera. So that should mean that it's 1080p. It says it can detect uh, people. It says it has an AI analysis, which probably ties into that. Again, this is app, that is part of the app. Uh, wireless networking, so it, it works off a wireless signal to your cell phone. Um, I believe it probably connects to you. I've not actually dug into it, but I believe it's going to connect to your home's Wi-Fi system and then allow you to uh, uh, tap into that and see the uh, camera feed. It has two-way audio, so it does have a built-in mic, and then it says you can actually talk back to him. So you're like, hey, who's out there? And someone's like, oh, it's me, Bob, your neighbor. And okay, you know who it is, you know? So they can, you can talk both ways. Uh, you can share it with other people, your camera here. There's the infrared night vision. So obviously it's gonna give you that, sort of that, you know, that greenish, probably night uh, field you're gonna be able to see with, but at least you can see at night. Battery powered, and that is recharged through the solar panel. So it'll charge it up and keep the battery, uh, you know, whenever it's cloudy or nighttime, it's obviously running off of the battery. This so has an activity zone, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. And there's email alerts that they can email you, uh, I guess if it detects somebody. So that's part of what the AI analysis and human detection is. That it's going to let you know, hey, if there's somebody walking around in your backyard or front yard wherever your camera's mounted, uh, you're gonna be able to, it's gonna pick that up. And hopefully it will distinguish, of course, between a human and a, say a dog or a cat or a, a random animal. All right, let's get inside the box and I'll show you guys what those components in the camera looks like right after this. All right, guys, so here are the components that all comes in the box. Of course, your camera, the uh, solar panels, and some uh, uh, wires, USB cables, and accessories. We'll very quickly go over that. This is the mount for the uh, solar panel. Uh, you can see it will attach. Here's some uh, like drywall anchors if you're putting it onto your house and some screws. I'm going to mount it onto a, a wooden post behind, in my backyard. So just you won't need those anchors, I don't believe, to go into that. And that'll let you tilt it and arrange it at the direction that you get the most sunlight onto the uh, solar panels. And then this is your mount for the actual camera itself, of course, you know, I can just, cause you may have the, you know, the camera pointed one way and the solar panel pointed off another way so that it can get the most direct sunlight, uh, depending on where you mount it. Of course, if you mount this, you need to make sure that the solar panel is in the sun. So you don't want to mount it in the shade. And that's why it has a rather long micro USB cable, as you can see on this. So. I don't know offhand how long it is, but it gives you uh, the ability to mount this a little ways away from the camera so that you can get it into the sunlight. And here is the a USB cable uh, to uh, connect to the actual camera itself. And here is the camera. So it had the camera, of course, is here on top. And then it's got an infrared sensor uh, admitter around it, it says. Uh, infrared light is around the camera. And then this it says is the infrared sensor itself. So this will admit the light up here. And of course, infrared you can't see. And this is a sensor that helps pick it up. And this is also the human body sensor. So it's built into this part of the, uh, the sensor down here. This is just a uh, spotlight. So I believe you can turn this on and actually admit regular white light. It's just a, an LED in there. So you could light up at night a little bit with that if you wanted to actually see uh, with your own eyes or actually see using the visible light spectrum of the uh, camera. And then this is a little indicator light, it'll light up when it's powered on and it's functioning. This is a speaker. So if, some, if you're talking to the person, uh, whoever's out there, they will hear it to the little speaker here in the back. That's obviously the uh, you screw, uh, the place to mount, the mounting bracket here again that will go into it. And on the bottom you have this, uh, this rubber flap that flips up and you've got your power switch here. And then you've got 
the USB, uh, if you to power it through the uh, black cable from the solar panel. I think there's like a reset button here, and then you've got your uh, micro uh, SD card slot. Uh, so you need to put, you need to provide one of those. That's of course where all the footage is going to be saved. Um, most likely, what it will do is just like a lot of other cameras, it will overwrite as it fills up. So uh, it's not going to just reach full capacity, I don't believe. There's probably settings within the app for that specific um, aspect. I'm not 100% certain because I've not actually turned the camera on and, and, and used it actually yet. So I'm just going over the specs in the manual. So you can pull that all open and access it or you can just uh, pull I believe, just the middle flap here. Because obviously you need to keep this from the elements in the water and stuff. But there's the middle flap, you pull this like that and that gets you access just to the power. So if you don't need to get in there and get the SD card out, this lets you plug in the solar panel while keeping an SD card and the power button and all that dry and away from the rain and snow and elements like that. So pretty neat. I'm, I'm pretty excited because I've always kind of wanted a security camera, but you know, when they, whenever the seller here on Amazon reached out to me, I was pretty excited to get an opportunity to review this and that you're going to use of course that app that's going to let you connect and and connect this to your home wi-fi so you're going to be able to see everything and then you're going to get that feed to your phone and that app is called the vico home app and i'll put a screenshot from the play store up here of course it's also available on ios if you have an iphone i'm not going to go through the setup it should be pretty self-explanatory and i just wanted to show you what the camera looks like give you a name of that app and then we'll get it mounted outside and let you guys see some daytime and some nighttime footage uh, with the infrared and also um, hopefully you know, we can turn that spotlight on and see how that looks like as well at night. So let's get out to that footage from the camera and we also test the audio. Let's do that too to see how that speaker works. So we'll test all that here in just a moment. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have the live feed going now in, the, in my backyard, as you guys can see there. Now it looks like a still picture because there's not much um, anything moving back there. You can hear some sound from the, the mic uh, from wind noise and such being picked up. And you can of course turn that off here with the sound button in the app. Now we don't have any sound because you'll pick up a lot of that noise. There's an audible alarm here. I'm going to get the sound muted so we don't uh, interfere with my voice. The audible alarm, <coughs> excuse me, you can turn that on and it makes a siren type sound. I, mean, I did it a while ago, I didn't hear it through the through the, uh, the app, so it could be that it, it mutes the mic because it's very, very loud. So um, we could test that outdoors if I remember to. Then we have a white light, which you won't be able to see here in the daytime, but that's the LED, the LED light I talked about. And that lets you uh, light up your backyard or however you, wherever you have it mounted at nighttime. Up above the live feed, you have your uh, Wi-Fi signal there, which you can see is about 50%. It's good enough. And your battery meter, which shows we're about uh, two-thirds of battery there. You can press the speak down here in the bottom. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I need to have someone in the backyard to test that with. So probably at the end of the video, I'll try to get uh, my daughter or someone in the backyard, and we can talk back and forth and record that through the app. Again, everything you've seen now is just in the app. The video is also being saved internally to the SD card that's inside the camera, and that's going to be higher quality uh, than what you're seeing here. But I just want to be able to you, let you guys see the app so you can see what we're all doing. I think that's more important than letting you see the quality. And then inside, up above uh, the feed, you have a little envelope, which is your uh, your like triggered events. You can click that, and that shows you little. It lets you jump around to where it trigger that event was triggered so you can immediately jump to where something may have happened whether it's you know an animal moving around or something that you want to look at and then you have next that you have a little gear icon and inside there you can see it says we have 71 percent battery we have a strong it says wi-fi signal and of course we're online and i have it set that i'm in my backyard you can change your uh, your motion uh sensitivity and some of your motion settings there so i have to fiddle with that still you can change some of their notification settings here, which again, I've not set up this. You can set up activity zones and intelligent notifications. So I'm gonna have to look at that still. Your SD card, if you want to, uh, right now it's, uh, it's saving, it's letting you know there's an SD card in there. 
if you don't have an SD card in, it's just going to stream to your phone only, and you'd have to actually manually record the video to your phone, and which would be a bit of a pain, but I'm gonna show you in a moment how you do that. And you have some sleep settings there you can also look at too. Scheduling when you want notifications and such turned on and off. Firmware, I've already checked that. That is all up to date. You can see the SD card says at the moment that it's pretty much empty, but I know that I was looking at the SD card footage and there's some video already being saved, of course. And you have some lighting settings in there. Um, if you want to use different things for your night vision, uh, your, it says flashlight alarm, indicator light. You can turn the indicator light on and off. So, you know, the little blue light is not on. It makes the camera more um, hidden from someone so they don't know where your camera is. Um, you can have some auto uh, power on settings to power the camera on after it's fully charged. And some audio settings for like the voice uh, uh, loudness of the voice volume and auto live auto recording, video audio recording. If you want to record audio or not to the video, you can turn that on and off. And you have some advanced settings for anti-flicker and some installation settings. And then you can share the actual uh, camera with like a neighbor or someone if you wanted to, uh, which you know, I don't think too many people are going to do that, but you can. And then I'm going to show you now the full screen. My screen recorder tends to never want to rotate the phone between portrait and landscape. So when I, if I go into landscape now to show you guys a full video, it's going to mess it up. So I'm going to pause the video here, yeah, the screen recording, uh, rotate it, and show you guys entered into when I get entered into the the uh, a video, and then you guys can see it full screen. To do that, you'll just tap on the video feed box here, the, the, the image you see, the preview, and that will go take us into the full landscape um, view um, so you can get a better view of your backyard or wherever you're filming. So let me pause the video and we'll come right back and show you that. Okay guys, so we have the live feed now in landscape mode here that I'm recording. So you guys can see we get much better detail here in the backyard in this mode. Now in the upper left hand corner, you got your date and your time. And then if you tap the screen, you get some other things that pop up here. You've got your video photo, and you can turn that sound back on. Basically, it's giving you access to all the controls we saw on the main screen in portrait mode. And, but whenever you click on the video or the photo, it's going to record video just to your cell phone. It's always recording to SD card, but if you didn't happen to have a card in, this will let you take a photo or record video just to the gallery on your phone. Then down in the bottom right-hand corner, you can actually do the mic. That's where you can talk to someone, just like we saw in the uh, on the main screen. And then up here, you have your Wi-Fi signal, and it actually shows a data throughput, uh, like around 180 kilobits. It's recording in HD. And if you click on the three little uh, lines here, that brings up that auto alarm, the white LED light, and then your device settings. So you have access to everything uh, that we saw on the main screen we have access to that as well within the uh, landscape mode like this. So it looks like it's pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back with some night vision, test that infrared out, see how well does it work at night. And we'll also test the white LED light to see how much does that um, illuminate my backyard. I think it'll be a little, I don't expect a ton. We'll see how to, does that, how does that affect the infrared? Does the infrared... Uh, turn off does it switch you know or does it stay on and can it work with both you know modes we'll see what that does when i turn it on and then at the very end i'll come back at the very end here and give you guys some uh, mic test footage to let you know how does it sound so we'll be right back with the uh infrared night test uh in just a moment okay guys before i get to the nighttime footage i wanted to very quickly go back to this screen that i showed you just a while ago Talking about the intelligent notifications and the activity zones. This is all subscription-based stuff. It does not come with the purchase notice. You have to subscribe to it. If you click on the check now, it's going to tell you you can, you know, you can add additional cloud storage. There's your intelligent notifications. It tells you basically, is it a person, a pet, a car? It's going to let you know what it thinks the camera's seen, which that actually is pretty cool. Assuming that the AI works well with that. That's why the box mentions that it has AI. And your activity zones there, which you I think you can uh, you draw a little 
activity area you want, you want the camera to look at, sort of like the ring doorbells you use. Then it shows you down here. It does appear that you get uh, about a half of a gigabyte, I think it says there. I'm trying to see if I can read this very faint uh, for up to a week included with it in the cloud storage. So you can see what you can add to it there if you were, were to subscribe. And then another thing I wanted to show you guys was the um, auto power on settings. I, we looked at this a moment ago, but after reading through it, I do have it turned on now because it says, especially if you're using solar power to recharge the camera, that um, the uh, battery, when it gets low, and if the camera turns off, it will turn itself back on uh, once it gets sufficient battery charge from the solar panel. So this is nice because then I, if my camera goes dead, if it's really cloudy and raining and it isn't charging, and then at night, of course, it can't charge, then it will turn itself back on during the day once that battery is charged up from the solar panel. So I would advise with this particular system um, that you, with the solar panel, that you do turn that auto power on option on in the settings so let me go back and get the screen rotated and we'll show you guys the uh the nighttime infrared and light so I'll be right back okay but here's the infrared night vision it looks pretty darn cool i think it really looks really much better than i thought in fact it doesn't really have that green tint which i sort of you know sometimes you see in some of the night vision stuff um it just looks really really fantastic these dust particles you see it's, I don't think those are bugs. It's too late in the, in the fall for that. Just is picking up, you know, little dust particles and stuff, just how sensitive it is. It looks really good. I'm really impressed with that. And you can you can zoom. We could do this during the daytime as well. So if you see something moving around, it's a digital zoom, of course. We see, like, over here where I'm looking now, i got voles. I look like little mice things, and they, and they dig in the ground. I've been putting out bait traps. They are hard to get rid of. I could zoom in, and if I see one moving there, I can uh, do that with the uh, zoom feature. And then we can turn the light on. I tested this a while ago, and I was actually pleasantly surprised at how bright that light is. It will, and it will, as I suggested earlier, it will switch off the infrared and go to the visible light mode. And I tell you, it's it's good enough that if you leave that on all the time, it might be okay, and you might, wouldn't even need infrared just to see within my fenced area here around the pool. Um, so that's something to consider, but you're gonna draw more power around the LED all the time at night. So you probably would, you would run that battery down really quick. So that's why you wanna stay in the infrared mode. But anyway, let's just click on the screen here and go to the three uh, lines and go to the white light. And you'll see it light up there. And look at that. Now you can see the blue of the pool cover and you don't see as good a detail. So the night vision will let me see the animal and stuff there. I'm, if I were to look over in this upper right-hand corner of my fence, you can't see those little mounds of dirt and stuff in those voles, really. And you can see that in the night vision. And you can still see the dust particles and stuff uh, in front of the camera here at night is with the visible light feature. But And some of the brighter light on the, on the uh, fence here is just from the street lights between the house here on the opposite side of the house shining through. That looks pretty good, though. I do like that. But uh, again, I think the infrared is what you want to go for for better detail and obviously longevity longevity of the battery at nighttime. So let's go back here and let's turn off the light. And then you'll see it stay in the visible light mode for a second. And look, now it switches. So it takes a second as it turns it off to switch modes. And then it flips back over to your infrared mode, assuming that you have that option enabled in the app. So yeah, this looks really great at night. All right, what we're going to do here is uh, we'll just have one more segment before we wrap this video up. We'll come back. And I want to do an audio mic test talking back and forth. Um, you'll hear the audio of obviously me talking and then the microphone audio will come back through. It, it, since it's coming back through the app, you get an idea here how loud will it sound for you to hear in your phone. Um, but obviously you're not going to really hear me on the speaker outside it, it, as it would normally be because it's going to be hearing it through the recording. And you know, I'm not going to be outside with my daughter whenever we do that. So we'll test that out. And I'll let you guys hear that and then we'll end this video. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're going to do the microphone uh, speaker test now. Now, of course, it's going to be coming through the app. So you're going to be hearing my daughter talking to me and back and forth. We won't actually hear the speaker as it would sound outside because I don't want to get any feedback into the mic. So I'm just going to test it with her. She's staying out back. So 
I'm going to talk to her now. Yes. I can hear you. Like I am right there. And they can hear me and they can reply. So that was pretty neat. All right, so that should wrap up uh, the video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you, if you're interested in this product, you can uh, check it out uh, in the link provided down in the video description. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day.